Okay, I am absolutely exhausted. It is only 9.15 and I'm only just finished with work. So I really don't think I have much energy to be doing much of anything. Let's see what's next. For the following exercise set up, but do not evaluate each optimization problem. All right. Eh. Let's have a look, see. I think I have the energy to do two questions tonight before I collapse. Okay. Don't even know if I have the energy to check the answer. I don't really want to know if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> All right. A window is composed of a semicircular place on top of a rectangle. If you have 20 feet of window framing materials for the outer frame, what is the maximum size of the window you can create? Use R to represent the data. Oh, now the problem is, I assume they just mean the outer frame, meaning the outer frame. Although the problem is in my mind, I just can't shake the fact that we need some frame in here. Window framing material. And what about, should we be counting these two? Oh, this is really annoying. This is really annoying. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. It's either going to be including this or not. It does say outer, so I'm just going to say outer. Not think about it more than that. Uh, okay, so the perimeter is uh, now that would be two R on the base, and we'll call this height H. So it's two R because it's R and R, and then plus two H's, so H and H, and then it's plus the circumference, but it's only half of it, so it's pi r, not 2 pi r, and that's supposed to equal 20. The area is h times 2 r plus a half pi r squared. I think it would be best to replace the, the h. Um, so I'm not sure how far we need to go um i think we could at least sub that in there and we could say area is 2 h which is 20 minus 2 r minus pi r 20 minus 2 r minus pi r divided by 2 or plus a half pi r squared so we need the derivative to be zero and the second derivative, if we want it to be a maximum, to be negative. So that's the equation we'd need to focus on. Um, let's see what the answer is. I could have cleaned that up a little bit, actually. Uh, I could have said A equals 20 minus, or sorry, 20 R minus 2 R squared minus pi R squared plus a half pi R squared. So that's minus a half pi r squared. Let's see. 351. Hurrah. Success. We did it right. Okay, 352. Three fifty-two. You have a garden row of twenty watermelon plants that produce an average of thirty watermelons apiece. For any additional watermelon plants planted, the output per watermelon plant drops by one watermelon. How many extra watermelon plants should you plant? Oh, interesting question. So you have a garden row of twenty watermelon plants. So you have twenty watermelon plants. 20 of these. 
plants that produce on average 30 watermelon plants apiece. For any additional watermelon plants planted, the output per watermelon plant drops by one watermelon. How many extra watermelon plants should you plant? So if you plant one more, then each of these gets a minus one, including itself. Interesting. So the total number. And actually, maybe you want to kill some of these. So that could be better, possibly. I don't know if we can go above 30. Maybe we can't. So it'll be 30 watermelons. No, sorry, 20 watermelons. And each one produces 30 minus how many extra watermelons you plant plus the extra watermelons times likewise uh, 30 minus 10 as well, isn't it? So that's going to be 20 plus n times 30 minus n. So that's going to be 20 times 30 is 600. 30 n minus 20 n is 10 n minus n squared. And I know they don't ask me to solve it, but now I'm really curious. T T D n is 10 minus 2 n, which equals zero. So that is five extra. Five more. Very interesting question. Very interesting question. I do like it. I'm going to go to sleep now.